All right, right now we're currently on Instagram. We're sitting at 99.3 thousand followers. We're so close to that 100,000 mark. And when I first got here at K-Swiss and I took over the Instagram account, we were at 53,000. It's really not that hard to get 100,000 followers because you can honestly go Google something and buy followers. It's, it's so apparent how some accounts have done that. But through engagement, actual engagement with people, reposting their photos, liking, commenting from a brand perspective and answering all the DMs, we've been able to consistently grow and keep a lot of those fans over and over and over. So that's how we've been able to grow over the last year. And I think it's the most authentic um, way to do it. Today, we're having a brainstorm meeting about the 100,000 mark. I think it'll be cool. The whole purpose of the hitting the 100 is the community. It's not like, yeah, we're 100,000. We actually are building a community of people and it'd be awesome to highlight them and do something with that, even if we chop that those videos up and it becomes a YouTube video. So if you do a different version, which is just like, for even the influencers you already have in the roster, just ask them when the first time they ever were case with was, or the first time they ever uh, like saw it even. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get the seventh grade stories of, oh my God, I clean them every day. What's up guys? We're so close to hitting 100,000 followers and we want to share your story. We always get told, I used to wear K-Swiss back in the day or I used to clean my classics with a toothbrush. So we want to hear your stories and we want to share them. Let's get that 100,000 together. Every quarter we have a town hall meeting where we gather everyone from around the company and we sit down and go over financials, go over how each brand is doing, and we talk about how we can build ourselves as a team, how we can work better together. And this time, we did a full team building exercise and it was a ton of fun. 24 pieces of paper are laid on the floor face down. Each piece of paper has a number on it, one through 24. Now, each team has 24 people and one leader. The object of the game is for every person in the team to pick up one piece of paper each and hand it to the leader in order. Now the challenge came when we first flipped over the piece of paper and we realized it wasn't just a number, it was a symbol or a photo or something like that that has a number attached to it. So for instance, number one was the Kansas City Chiefs football team because they just won their first Super Bowl. So as a team building exercise, A, this really helped us rely on each other and the knowledge of other people for filling in the gaps with what we know. So while I might know that Kobe Bryant's jersey number was 24, and so he's gonna be number 24, I may not know what the year of the monkey was for Chinese New Year. We also had to strategize, communicate, and it was really interesting to see the leaders that arose that I didn't really think would be the ones leading the charge for the exercise. I was introduced to people in accounting, in IT, that I never get to work with, and they were the ones leading the charge and coming up with some of the best strategies for us to win the game. Now, if you listen close in these couple of clips from actually playing the game, it's actually really hilarious as we're like yelling at each other, like, where's six? We're about to hit 100k. Boom, baby! 100k. Bam! <laughs> so happy right now. I know you are. 100 and what? 100 and one. <laughs> if that person unfollows us, I'm gonna be so upset. How do you feel, Omar? You're uh, like what you wanted since you started just happened. This is really cool. This is like an accomplishment for me. This has been like really focused on the community, on the people, on photos. Every single little piece just to get to that number, to me that feels like a million. 